is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, October 24th to Monday, October 31st. Now, I've decided to do these horoscopes instead of from Sunday to Sunday, from Monday to Monday, because I've noticed that by the time I get around to um, doing the weekly and filming it, it doesn't end up being late Sunday night, and I don't end up posting it until Monday morning, and that's a whole day worth of astrology that you miss out on, um, and I don't want that to happen, so I figure I'm going to do a Monday to Monday from here on out um, and see how that works. So we're going to go with that. I've also got some new camera equipment that I'm trying now. It's been a whole thing about seeing what works, taking some stuff back, getting some new stuff. So I think I finally got a camera that I like um, right now. So we'll see how um, the picture looks on that and the sound with my new mic. Um, so there we go. Now to get started, welcome to Scorpio. The sun moved into Scorpio on Sunday. We're hearing it now. Mercury will be um, in Scorpio later this week on Tuesday where it will meet up and come conjunct with the sun. Um, and I think this is going to be a big thing for this week, especially for the next of the month. Um, because Scorpio is all about getting in touch with your feelings, with what you really, really want deep down and not what you think you want, not what you maybe want, but what really, really deeply connects with you emotionally. And so that's really what the next month is going to be about is figuring out what you want, unearthing things maybe that have been hidden deep within that you've been afraid to mention, afraid to say that you didn't want to feel. Um, but now what you're going to get in the next month is that you can't, you, you have to be authentic. You have to let these feelings out. Even if you don't want to feel them, even if you don't think they're right, you kind of just have to go with your emotions. You have to be more authentic, be more true, understand what's going on. It's not a time to pretend. It's not a time to say what everyone else wants you to say just because it'll get you in good terms with them. This next you know, month is really a time to just be true to who you are and to get everything out in the open and to just you know see what happens with all of that. And when the sun and Mercury come conjunct, it's really going to be a time where not only are you identifying with that and with what you want, but you're willing to speak about it and to talk about it and to, to let everyone else know what's going on or to communicate what you're feeling deeply about what's happening. It's also a time to think about it and to get your mind on the same page as your heart, as what you're feeling deep down and go from there. So I want to say it could be a good thing, but Scorpio energy is very hard and very difficult just because it is so deep and because it wants nothing but the truth. And sometimes the truth is hard. Um, and so even though you're speaking your truth and other people are speaking their truth, just know that it may not always align with your truth. It may not always be what you want it to be, um, which could be hard. It could, it could also be what you want it to be, which could be good, but it could go either way. The main issue here is that people are really getting down to the heart of what they feel and expressing it and bringing it out into the open. So that's, um, for the most part, what is happening here. Um, it's also going to be making this aspect a really good angle to Pluto and Capricorn. So these things that you're feeling um, that you are connecting with deep down about what you really want are going to help you to really build some solid foundations for your life moving forward. But the thing you need to know here is that these foundations that you're building are not going to be like anything you've built before. They're going to be different. And if you're trying to build foundations for your life in the same way that you've always built them in the past, it's not going to work. Pluto in Capricorn is all about building foundations, but in a new way and a different kind. And if you're trying to keep doing them the way that you've always doing them, they're not going to work out. That's kind of the way Pluto works. Pluto can be a, a bad, a, a really bad sign can be representative of something in your life that you struggle with, but it's really, you struggle with it until you figure out the right way to handle it and the right way to work with it. And once it all clicks, things work out better than you've ever expected. So that's the kind of lesson, especially last week with Mars and Pluto and Capricorn is that you have to figure out how to act on your real, true and authentic desires in a new way that can lay foundations in a new way. You know, especially the end of this year, we've got a lot of stuff coming in the end of November, which is going to connect to Pluto, a big T square with Pluto at the head. And what that really means is that you have to do things differently. Your identity is going to change. By the time this alignment ends next March, April, May, um, you're going to be someone completely different than you ever thought you could be. It's going to be a new situation for you to come into. So learn that that's what you need to do. You need to let, learn to let go of some old patterns, of some 
old ways of relating of who you thought you were going to be in order to really move forward with this. So, so be on the lookout for that. And it could be good in the sense that you're really identifying with who you are. You're arranging your life to be more about who you are, or it could be hard where if what you really are is different from what someone else really is and so what someone else really wants. And this month is going to be about facing that and moving forward. Another thing that's happening is we've got Venus that entered Sagittarius last week. So the interesting thing is that our relationships are already ahead of our identity because Venus had to go through Scorpio before it got to Sagittarius. And so our relationships have already been through this thing, you know, where right now we're trying to figure out, well, what do we identify with? How do we want to communicate in a way that's more authentic? What are we really as to where last week and the week before we already dealt with our relationships with other people. It could also be passion projects, like things that we love to do. We already kind of tried to figure that out. And so in the past few weeks, we could have had what we're now experiencing with our identity, where maybe now we're just kind of getting the tail end of it where in the past we could have had things happen with relationships where either some relationships were ended very suddenly or began very suddenly just because we had a lot of this energy coming in with Scorpio where it's like okay stop thinking about what you think you want in relationships what you think is good for you but what do you really and truly identify with um, and so we had that and when Venus comes into Sagittarius it's more about testing those deep deep desires that we thought we had and seeing whether or not they can really work so as Venus is in Sagittarius, it's definitely about trying to figure, um, to test some of these things and kind of going on a little bit of a journey to see that. And things that have may have been hard in the past few weeks are going to start to get easier as you start to take away all of that uncertainty around your feelings, all of that confusion around your feelings, especially with it making a semi-square to Mars and Pluto last week. And you really start to understand what's going on with your life. And when Venus is in Sagittarius this week, it makes a sextile to Jupiter and Libra where it's like, okay, you're starting starting to go in the direction that you decided you wanted to go on when it was in Scorpio and more information is starting to come to you about whether or not that was the right decision that you made, whether or not the way that you felt was true. And it's helping you connect with your mind to weigh things out in a way that makes more sense, that's more realistic, um, that can actually have roots in reality. I think I mentioned in, a, in last week's weekly that when you're in Venus and is in Scorpio, it's all about making decisions about relationships or passion projects. It doesn't have to be romantic, although romantic is the one that I think is easier to relate to. It could be relationships at work. It could be things like that. But we all, we got in touch. There was something that was happening where it was like, you know what? Maybe I want to be in this relationship or I don't want to be in this relationship or relationships were a little stressful, you know? And now when it moves into Sagittarius, it's the time to test it. Okay, well, you said you didn't want to be in this relationship, but once we actually don't call each other for a few days, is it still what you want? And so that's what you're doing here where you're taking away some of this guesswork that you had when it was in Scorpio where you're like, I think I wanted this. I think I really felt this deep down or whatever. And now when it's in Sagittarius, you're like, no, I I really did. I, I, I said this the first time I really meant this, or I said that then and I didn't mean it where you go back on it. And so that's where we are in Sagittarius, testing things out, making a good angle where we're bringing our mind on board with our relationships, starting to make sense of it. The only thing that can be a little tough with this is that it is squaring Neptune and Pisces. So maybe there is some confusion about where we're going, about what's happening with our relationships, about, you know, where this, you know, about what this all means. Maybe we're not using our intuition as much as we would like. Maybe we need to be a little bit more concerned with some of the emotional concerns of ourselves, of the other people that we're interacting with um, to kind of soften some of the experiences a little bit that are coming up. It's also squaring the North Node, so what's ever happening may feel like it's not getting you in the direction you want to go. May feel like you're going in a path that's different from your fate, different from your destiny, not getting you there. And so this week, you're really going to have to learn how to maneuver your relationships to bring yourself back on track to get you to where you want to be a few weeks, months, years down the road. So keep that in mind. Another thing that's going to happen is on Sunday, Venus is going to come conjunct Saturn. So I feel like whatever you're thinking about this week, however you're trying to adjust your relationships by Sunday or right around Sunday, you're going to have made your decision. You're going to have figured out more or less what it is that you want, how you want to move forward with your relationships, with friends, with lovers, with passion projects, and to really have made a decision. Because when Venus and Saturn come conjunct, it's decision time in regards to relationship. It's being serious in regards to relationships. You know, do you want to commit to this? Are we going to try to make this work? 
in this relationship or are we not? Are we going to break up? Are we going to get together? You know, it's, it's very sobering when that happens because you really have to start to think more realistically about what can last long term and what can't. So expect those kind of conversations in relationships based on real experience um, and emotions that you've had over the past few weeks to come together to build a much better decision moving forward. And after this happens, the middle of next month, Venus is going to move into Capricorn where it's going to become less about what do I want? All this emotional, you know, excitement happening for better or for worse and more about, okay, I figured this out. Now it's time to put plans in place to build the foundations with my relationships to make them long lasting. We've also got this time Mars and Capricorn sextile Chiron and Pisces. So whatever action we take, um, especially on our true heart's desire and on our true feelings is going to help heal us emotionally deep down inside. It may not be easy, but if you're listening to this call to really go deep and bring up some of the dark stuff from deep down, it's going to help you break past some emotional barriers and feel more free to move forward with that. It could still be a little bit hard because this is also squaring your honest. So there may be some weird things that come up while you're trying to move forward, while you're taking your action that are unusual, out of the ordinary, that are distracting. Maybe you yourself are having some weird thoughts that are distracting you from moving forward with um, this plan that you wanted to put in action and to feel true healing. It's also semi-squaring Neptune and Pisces. So maybe you're not listening to your intuition. Maybe you're not balancing this get you know getting things done with listening to your heart, with going with the spirit, with things like that. So keep that in mind. Um, that even though your action is going to be helpful to make you feel better, it could be a little bit hard with unexpected things and with balancing your intuition and then the spirit to make things flow much better. One good thing that will happen is that it will be easier for you to communicate what is happening. So even if there are some things, hard things around this emotional healing, moving things forward, you will be able to say, communicate what is happening for better or for worse so that no one's guessing, you know, what you're really feeling what's really going on. It's really a time to clear up the guesswork and to really understand what's going on in the depths. Um, and then the last thing that I'm really going to talk about is the new moon in Scorpio happening on Sunday, um, right around the same time that Venus and Saturn are conjunct when it's a really defining moment for your relationships. Um, and that's going to be about a whole new you know, time coming in, at least in the next few weeks of getting in touch with who you really are and what you really want and what's really means a lot to you moving forward. Um, and so whatever happens at this time, just know that it's, it's meant to, especially if you can really use this time to your advantage to really figure out what you really want and align your life with what you really want. You know, of course, next month when everything moves into Sagittarius, it's going to be about making sure that what you wanted was the right thing. Um, but, but in the meantime, um, it's going to be a lot of, of trying to get in touch and to start this new identity that's more authentic than you thought it could be and to really go with that. Um, so I think that's all I have for this week. Um, it may be a little stressful trying to get to the bottom of things, but if you use it in the right way, if you balance it with your intuition, um, and if you really just let it, I want to say, work in you and bring up stuff maybe that needs to be brought up that you've been neglecting, I think good things can come from it. If not now, um, then, then down the road. So that's all I have for this week. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know.